good morning welcome back to my channel my name is Brittany if you're new here thanks for stopping by this video every Wednesday I do these what I eat Wednesday videos or something fitness related whether it be a recipe video a meal prep video something along those lines but recently it's just been what I eat in a days and they have been centered around a keto or low carb lifestyle which is what I attempt to follow about 85% of the time and if you guys need like daily inspiration or meals and stuff like that make sure that you're following me over on my Instagram I'll have that linked right here because I am always posting different things that I'm coming up with or different concoctions so I just got the day started right now with um, my workout as you guys saw this morning and my pre-workout and it is about 10 o'clock right now I'm about to go and take my kids outside for a walk and so I am making my protein coffee here which is my absolute favorite right now it's just the Starbucks concentrate and the premier protein and I'm probably not going to eat for another couple of hours this should hold me over for a while so I'll show you guys that when we get back all right guys so I'm back from the walk and it's like actually almost noon we've been back for a while but we've been kind of like doing stuff around the house but I wanted to show you guys this breakfast it's a keto breakfast sausage bake and it's actually really super simple to make so let me walk you through it really quickly all you're gonna do is you're gonna pick out your vegetables and in this I specifically used onion bell peppers I used um, kale as my green and then I used the sausage frozen patties from Walmart and just some eggs and with heavy whipping cream and seasonings I mixed the eggs all together I sauteed the veggies really quickly I put them in a greased little baking dish put the veggies in put the kale on top put sausage topped it with the egg topping um, put cheese on top and I baked it in my oven at 375 and you guys this is so good It's gonna last in my freezer all week and it's like a way that I can like make sure I get breakfast in Mostly for days when I work because I find that that's when I'm struggling to like get breakfast in and then I'm ravished throughout the rest of the day So I'm gonna go ahead and munch on this right now because it's really tasty and I'll catch you guys at lunch or at my next meal I like to put a little bit of sour cream on mine because it just makes it that much creamier and delish. And you guys, this is so good. Definitely let me know if y'all try out any of these recipes and make sure to tag me in them when you do because I love seeing you guys recreate my recipes. And I'm just gonna drink a big water. The kids are actually both sleeping right now. So I'm going to sit on the couch, watch some Law & Order and just chill for like 30 minutes before I get up and start doing things. Hopefully they stay asleep long. Ah, fingers crossed. Okay, so I'm heating up a bowl of this amazing keto jambalaya, and it is absolutely amazing. You guys have to try this. I'm going to show you the recipe right here. Okay, so I just fried up some link sausage here, and this was just like the Johnson. Let me see if I have any. Yeah, the Johnson & Johnson link sausage, and I sliced it up, and I just sliced up what we had left, so I'm gonna throw that in there for the sausage. And then over here I have my veggies chopped up. So I've just got some onions, some celery, all three colored peppers, and then I also have some rotisserie chicken here from Costco, and then some um, slow cooker chicken that I'm gonna use also, just because I need to use it up. Some vegetable broth here, some shrimp, some cauliflower rice, some garlic, and then of course you're gonna need your seasonings. And I'm going to cook everything up in this pot here, so we're just gonna saute our veggies. So you're just gonna wanna put your onion in first and your garlic. Put your onion and your garlic in until they're fragrant and then you can kind of add your the rest of your veggies here. Then I'm gonna add the seasonings. I've just got some paprika. I'm gonna add some more salt and pepper. Okay, 
and some garlic powder and some chili powder. This dish is really flavorful, so you might want to play around with the spices. Um, but yeah, it's really aromatic. It's really flavorful. It's really good and tasty. I love this dish so much. You guys are going to love this. And then you're going to want to add in your cauliflower rice. So I'm just going to dump in a bag here. This was like half of a bag of rice. So... I think I'm gonna add in half of another bag. We'll see what this is looking like in a little bit. Then I'm gonna add in a couple cups of vegetable broth. And this is totally personal preference, like how soupy you like yours or whatever. This is what it looks like. You're gonna bring this to a boil and then you're just gonna let it simmer. Okay, so this has been cooking for about 10 minutes or so and I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the shrimp that I peeled and deveined, obviously. And I'm gonna let this cook for about another five or six minutes or however long until the shrimp is done. And then, voila! I need some help. Like my plates and bowls get so hot. Like they're hot and my food will be cold. Like I just nearly burnt my hand off. Okay. Anyways, I need some serious recommendations on plateware because I think, I don't know what's going on. Like they didn't used to do this, but slowly over time, like now every time I put them in the microwave, like the plate or bowl will be so hot and then the food will be cold. Leave me your recommendations down below of what you guys use or have at your house. Hey guys, so this was definitely an impulse buy at Costco the other day. I have no idea why I freaking bought this veggie tray. I think I was just hungry at the time and it sounded so good. Um, but I'm not going to use the ranch dip that it came with. I'm going to use this spicy Sabra hummus. You guys, this stuff is so good if you like spicy. Really delicious. I love this brand of hummus anyway. So I'm just going to munch on some of these I'll probably portion some out just to make my life easier not like you really have to be careful with your vegetable count honestly you could really eat I mean with the carrots you do but I'm gonna eat some carrots I don't care I don't understand I don't understand why carrots are so bad on a low carb diet but okay after making you guys super dizzy this is what I'm going to snack on right now Hey guys, um, so it is like currently 7.15, it's so late. My house is a madhouse, but I did want to show you guys just what I'm eating for dinner tonight. Nothing crazy, honestly. I am, I've got this Costco chicken here that I'm gonna cut up for me, and then just some broccoli. I made some mashed potatoes for these guys, but obviously I'm not gonna have any of that, so I'm gonna shred a little bit of cheese on my broccoli, and I'll show you what that looks like. The day has been a really weird, crazy, busy kind of day for me, and I'm eating way later than I normally would like to, but I did pretty good on my water, so I'm happy about that, and I did not cheat at all but I am gonna show you guys some little treats at the end of this video so keep watching and yeah I'll be back in a sec all right you guys that's my dinner pretty simple and that's my messy baby <gasps> TJ yeah we're gonna eat some yummy food look at him looking at my food you can't have that you want that no Okay, so after dinner is when I typically get my sweet tooth. So I wanted to show you guys these. These are Lily's um, salted caramel milk chocolate style and the salted, salted almond milk chocolate style. And I love Lily's chocolates. Let me show you here. So there is about seven grams of net carbs, um, no sugars, which I really like, 130 calories per bar on this one. And then on this one, there's 10 net carbs. So a little bit higher, but still pretty good if you balance out throughout the day. Again, I'm not doing very strict keto right now, but I am adhering to a lower carb lifestyle. So I think I'm gonna try some of these. I'm gonna have a serving size of this, and then I'm gonna end up the video for the night. So I hope you guys have a great evening, and I will catch you guys next Wednesday. Bye. <laughs>